Hi folks, I'm on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy Note 7, the Xenos version. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, before we begin, here's number one thing. This root method will erase everything on your phone. Second, go ahead and back up everything because it's going to erase everything on your phone. Number three, this is only for a Xenos model of Galaxy Note 7, such as the SMN 930FD I got here, which is the Duos model. Or if you have the regular 930F, which is the regular single SIM model. Or if you have the Korean SMN 930S, K or L, SK Telecom, uh, LG, or KT. That's all the phones that support it right now as of this video. If it changes, I'll make a change on my tutorial or I'll make another video. All right, if you have a US version, there should be a route shortly, um, maybe a, a few weeks from now. So watch out for that too. But for right now, if you want root, the best phone to get is the Exynos version, international version, which I've got here. This is the dual SIM version, which you can put two SIMs will work on AT&T and T-Mobile. So if you have AT&T and T-Mobile, you can buy this on eBay, I think right now for only $6.99. It's definitely the way to go. Again, you'll lose Samsung Pay by rooting. If you need Samsung Pay, don't root your phone. All right. All right, the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings about phone on your phone and find out the model number. Make sure it's one of the ones listed on my site, on my tutorial. All right, once you've verified you have a supported Exynos version of Note 7, go ahead and tap on software info, uh, then tap on the build number about five times until it says you're a developer. All right, tap the back button twice and now you'll see a new menu option called developer options. Tap on that and you should see an OEM unlock option. If you don't see it, uh, it's good, some phones don't have it. If you do see it, make sure it's on, all right? Next, go ahead and power off your phone. Go ahead and hold down the volume down, center home, and the power button until you enter into the Odin warning screen. Once in Odin warning screen, go ahead and hit the volume up key, and then connect a USB cable from your phone to your computer. All right, you'll need to download a bunch of files. Go to my tutorial page, I'll have all the links there. Basically, you need the Super SU zip file, also Odin zip file, also the Samsung USB drivers, also the Samsung anti-root removal zip file, and also twerp recovery for your model of Note 7. All right, go ahead and download all these files. All right, next, go ahead and unzip the Odin zip file, and you get a folder uh, with a bunch of files you need. I'm going to double click on the Odin EXE program and you should see a blue highlighted box with a random com number. If you don't see this, uh, go back into your download folder where you should have downloaded the Samsung USB drivers. Go ahead and double click that and run that and then go ahead and unplug and plug the USB uh, back into the phone. And you should now see blue highlighted box. Uh, if you still don't see it, try rebooting your computer and continue the steps. Next, go ahead and choose AP and go ahead and choose the twerp file uh, you downloaded for your model of Note 7. This is really important. We're gonna go ahead and hold down volume down, center home and power as soon as Odin is done flashing and the phone screen goes off and reboots, all right? So be ready to hit volume down, center home and power, all right? Next, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. In about five seconds, the screen will turn off. Go ahead and immediately hold down volume down, center home and power. Keep holding it down and let go of the power button after a few seconds. And then you should now be in Torp Recovery and you can go ahead and let go of all the buttons. All right, go ahead and swipe to allow modifications. Next, go ahead and go to wipe and choose format data and go ahead and type yes. Now this will erase everything on your phone. So make sure um, you have backed up everything. If you didn't, um, you should have, as I told you in the beginning of the tutorial and it's not my fault. All right, go ahead and say yes and this will delete everything on your phone. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and go back to home, hit reboot menu and choose recovery. This will reboot us back into twerp recovery. Go ahead and swipe again to allow modifications. Next, go back to your computer and you should now be able to see your phone as a disk drive. Copy over the two files, the super SU zip file and Samsung anti root removal zip file. All right, copy these two anywhere into your Note 7's uh, storage drive. All right, once that's done, you don't need the USB cable anymore. Um, go ahead and go to install, choose uh, Super SU zip file, and choose add more zip, and choose Samsung anti-removal removal tool, and go ahead and swipe to install both of these files. 
that's pretty much it when that's done we're gonna go ahead and reboot and reboot should take about five minutes and once rebooted you should see the welcome screen go ahead and log in sign in and after you sign in you should be able to see a new app called super su in the app drawer go ahead and open it you can use the expert mode if you don't get any errors um, you're fully rooted congratulations now if you want to verify you have full root go ahead and download uh, and run titanium backup app from the play store it's free and boom shakalaka you should be able to see a super user request window that's pretty much it you have full root congratulations you have fully rooted your galaxy note 7 that's how you do it now this root method will work on current android 6.0.1 and will probably work on future nugget and whatever android becomes so long as samsung and android doesn't change too many things this root method should work for the next 10 years anyway all the downloads and step-by-step -step written instructions are on my tutorial at highonandroid.com um, you can check that out in the description here or I'll put the link up here so you can click it and go there if you're on the desktop. That's pretty much it. Have a great day, folks. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay on Android. Nugget! Click here to subscribe.